Are you ready? You are the man of the hour, after all. We're all just waiting for you. I like making fun of you? Ah, oh, you wound me. Though I will say it is slightly amusing. You aren't used to the spotlight being on you, aren't you? But you deserve it, that's for sure. Ah, oh, you're curious of how everyone is reacting to the news? Well, getting knighted is no small fate. There are some who've worked for years and haven't achieved it, but don't fear. You saved my life, after all. Even if people have their doubts, speaking out about it would be speaking out against me. You don't wish to depend on me anymore? Oh, I see. Well, just think of this as a favor. I've no doubt that you'll be able to gain strength on your own from here out. Once you're strong enough to stand level with me, then I'll ask for a favor back, and we'll be even. Your sister? She'll be here soon. She's been opening up more recently, and after I told her you were becoming knighted, she was quite excited for you. I think she'll be able to see you soon enough. As you can see, the festivities have already begun, though I'm sure you knew that and stayed in your room anyway. The soldiers just won a hard-fought battle, so I guess they're a little rowdy. It's different from your home country? What about it? Oh, I see. Yes, the soldiers here are quite close. I actually brought them here from an orphanage that was about to close. They insisted on becoming soldiers to serve me, since they grew up together. I believe it's only natural they're close. Do I think they could become friends with you? Of course I do. You see here, future knight, people have opened their hearts to you a long time ago. Your belief that everyone hates you just because you fought against us in the war has been stopping you from seeing what's around you. But look, there are people here who care for you like I do. It's okay to let down your wall. It's okay to make friends, you hear me? It's okay to let go of the past. It's okay to be happy. Now, go on, make some friends. Come on, I believe in you. Oh, pardon. Are you the one who saved her general's life? You know, I must say, you have our thanks, lad. Ah, right. I'm dressed. I was sitting on a mission during the battle. But thankfully, I made it back in time for the drinks. <laughs> I... Oh, but in all seriousness, we owe you one. See, General Aubrey was the one who helped us when we were younger. She has a steely way about her, but she has to look strong to protect everyone else. So even when she's rude sometimes, please try to understand. You get what I mean? Ah, you yeah, have my thanks, lad. You know, I saw you around before, but you always look so dedicated to your work. <laughs> I knew I couldn't interrupt you. <laughs> You know, I got to introduce you to one of my mates. They'll love you. You know, you have this whole strong warrior thing going on. Tress, I see you've met our future knight. That I have. <laughs> Tell me, why have you been keeping it to yourself this whole time, General? I like to keep pretty things for myself. What can I say? It's time for the ceremony now, so I'll be stealing him again. Alright, you lot. Have fun. I'll be watching from over there. Silence, please. We are all here to celebrate the soldier's victory against Marquis Northbrand, and I would like to also reward this soldier for not only assisting me, but saving my life. Please kneel. I, Kyoko Albury, General of this nation, seek to bestow upon this soldier the role of knight, with personnel from the Imperial Palace to serve as a witness. I dub you...
a knight. Please use your rank to protect the innocent and defeat the wicked. You may stand. And just like that, you're a knight. How do you feel? The same. <laughs> Why don't you join me on the balcony for some fresh air? Once all the soldiers get drunk on drinks and exaggerated tales, it can be a bit much. Great. Isn't it quite peaceful? I guess even the world is responding to you. Yes, I think you're finally starting to find peace. After the war, one side may have won, but both lost their places in the world, despite the glory that comes up with being a soldier. You can truly lose your humanity with it. And you have two choices after. Well, one is to crumble. Let your guilt and pain consume you and never open your heart again. But the second is to accept, to realize that we did wrongs, but not let them take who we are, to find people who care for us and move forward, not forgetting what happened in the past, but not letting it define us. And, Knight, I believe you're finally moving towards the second. And even if you aren't happy now, in a year or maybe in three, I believe you'll find yourself eventually. Hmm. You think this is what I wanted for you ever since I... got you? I guess you are correct to some extent. I can help but pick you up, you see. Your eyes reminded me of mine before. And I knew I couldn't leave you there. Thank you? I don't deserve your thanks. Direct them towards yourself. Truly. You are able to grow. That has nothing to do with me. Hmm? Oh, why don't we relax a bit before going back in? The air up here really is nice. You should take your sister here sometime.